The protests and marches began against the tax reform and were organized in every major city and the whole of the country for April 28th by the wide spectrum of the social movement here in Colombia. The worker unions, the indigenous people movement, feminists, LGBTQ plus collectives, farmers, and much more. The marches had a big participation considering we're going through a third wave of COVID cases caused in big part by the mishandling of the pandemic by the government, which has left a lot of people in a dire economic situation. To face this crisis, Duke passed these tax reforms supposed to help finance the social programs implemented by the state to help the most vulnerable. The reform, in reality, was an attempt to keep and even increase the tax cuts and financial benefits for the wealthiest business owners and bankers, while putting the burden on the middle and the lower class. People took to the streets saying, our government is deadlier than the virus. Since the beginning, the protests have been met with a repression and violence that has only gotten worse, and it has angered the people even more. The police is completely out of control, especially in working class neighborhoods, especially in Cali, but also in the whole country. The violence of the police includes illegal detentions, raping, using live rounds on protesters, disappearing them, using altered anti-riot munitions and expired tear gas. All this while former President Uribe is constantly spewing far right-wing rhetoric on Twitter. Right now, the situation is dire. There is supposedly a dialogue table to be established, but they have begun to censor us on social media and even took down the internet and electricity in half of Cali, a city of 2 million inhabitants. This gives them the liberty to basically massacre us. There are rumors of a possible declaration of an inner commission state which grants dictator-like powers to the president. At this point, an increase in international pressure and solidarity with our situation might be our only hope to stop a genocide.